Islam is not a popularity contest. Uh, if it were, our ancestors would have won it. Because our Prophet Sallallahu tells us Muslims will be the majority of Jannah. Muslims are found in every race, ethnicity, on the face of the earth. Islam is very popular. But Islam is not a popularity contest. In other words, we're not out to get the most followers. It's not like Facebook. He who gets the most followers win. We're, we're out to please our Lord and to adhere to the instructions that our Lord has given us to live our lives. And so if, if we can do that, it's just about us and God. Us and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I think Muslims uh, have to be very, very careful in terms of how we negotiate the cultural landscape out there. Uh, because we, we, we believe in revelation and we believe in the unchanging nature of revelation. Now, how we engage revelation is constantly, uh, our understanding is constantly uh, filtered through a prism that's constructed by the context we live in, but that prism can only be uh, shaped to a certain extent. And I think there are a lot of pressures on Muslims uh, to conform to certain cultural mores that are totally against our religion. You know, 2010, the first year in American history, more couples were living together outside of wedlock than in inside, than united by the bond, the sacred bond of marriage. So do we say, you know, uh, well, that's what everyone does now. So brothers and sisters, you find a sister, you find a brother you like, just shack up. You know, no one gets married nowadays. It's the popular thing to do. You know, the economy really you can't take care of. So you just share and when it gets becomes too much of a hassle, everyone's free to go their separate ways. You know, is that the position we end up in? You know, we, we, we've always believed and been taught as Muslims we should dress modestly and we shouldn't wear form-fitting clothes. And, and now you see Muslims squeezing into skinny jeans. Even people that are identified with leadership of the community. And uh, because that's the hip thing to do. <laughs> Showing your hips is hip. So, where is that coming from? Negotiation involves two sides, each of which is willing to make a compromise. So the Muslim is put in a position where only he or she will compromise. And the negotiating partner says, no, there's no compromise here. And so that means the steady erosion and chipping and chiseling away of Islam. If we look at uh, some of these issues I've been talking about, and we try to identify the source, I think at the end of the day, the source is a crisis of faith. Because uh, when people have faith, uh, they, can, they can walk through walls. And they can be alone. And so if, if we can do that, it's just about us and God. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We're going to stand before Allah ta'ala alone. And so all of those crowds that we might have even compromised the, the very essence of our religion with, they're not going to be there. And we're not going to be judged based on how many people we kind of sort of got into something that kind of sort of resembles Islam. Our Prophet was blessed with a lot of followers, but there was a time he had very few followers. And at that time when he had very few followers, that was the time he is related to have said, if you were to put the sun in my right hand and the moon in my left hand, I'm not going to turn back from this path. So in other words, you know, no matter what you offer, and that was in the context of compromise, you worship Allah one year and we'll worship our idol gods the next year and so everyone will be happy at the end of the day. He says no, the gods have to go.